should not take place anywhere, if it's in a park or if it's on the street. Initially, police believed that 38-year-old Howard Shaw may have also been responsible for the rape in Central Park. An alarming study found enrollment of black men in medical schools is declining, meaning fewer black male doctors for the future. Anywhere, if it's in a park or if it's on the street. Aziza Shuler joins us now to explain what's being done in some schools to reverse this trend. One mile for one million human beings that are waiting for a path to citizenship. We're waiting on Congress to finally act. Diana Moreno, an organizer with the New Immigrant Community Empowerment Group, says this is a really frustrating issue for their community. We're tired of waiting and we're tired of being negotiated out with watered-down versions of temporary status, of second-class citizenship. We will no longer accept those concessions. Organizers say they've been promised this over and over, and now that Democrats control Congress and the White House, they say there should be no delays. We've, we've had Congress in power promise us a path of citizenship, and we ended up with nothing. Many of the marchers held photo cutouts of Senator Schumer. Over the past weeks, they say they've held rallies at his home and office, and this march is a continuation of that pressure. Well, we know Schumer has the power to open the path to citizenship, and... Um, I've confronted him a couple of times and he said he's, he believes in it. In a statement, a spokesperson for Schumer's office said Senate Democrats are not giving up the fight. They still have a menu of options and are working with the advocacy community and will continue fighting to get immigration reform done. Many here say this demonstration amounts to a step in the right direction. We are all together. And it is very emotional to me to get together and show what the democracy looks like. Edric Robinson, New York God One. God help us. That's what it... Walking the halls of his high school, King Drew Magnet senior Dante Lewis proudly wears his personalized scrubs. It's one way he's manifesting his future career in medicine. It prepares us for the uniformity that the... Uh, hospitals like because everybody wears scrubs in hospitals and develops a habit. From the tender age of 10, Dante has known he would one day become the first doctor in his family. It was seeing his grandmother fight an advanced stage cancer that gave him the drive. I want to become a doctor because I want to change the state of medicine that we're at. Um, as far as, especially as a black person, I know black people, they fear doctors and I want to be the one to alleviate that fear to let them know that doctors are there to help and there to heal them. He attends mm -hmm. one of the few LAUSD high schools for medicine and science, already learning basic patient care techniques, preparing him for college and medical school. A standard uh, oxygen mask that you would give someone on the way to the hospital. But Dante's working against the odds. A 2021 study from the New England Journal of Medicine analyzed four decades of medical school enrollment. While the percentage of white and Asian women has substantially increased, the enrollment of black and Hispanic women has increased only moderately. And the numbers of black male medical students declined to 2.9% in 2019. Pulmonary critical care physician Dr. Dr. Del Okoroduru started his organization Black Men in White Coats in 2013 to get more young men of color interested in medicine. He's found the reason less black men are going to medical school is simply because they don't realize it's an option. I'll tell you, every other job, a doctor will come up on that list for a lot of these because they literally don't know or haven't thought about it. Nobody's really said, you know, you can be a doctor, right? You know that, that guy you go see, that woman you go see? with your health care. Anybody can that do person. that. Problems, I'm going to go see that person. Dr. Dale says it's important for more black men to study medicine because research shows black male patients are more likely to follow preventative health recommendations from a black male doctor. After all, there's power in perception. I believe it's very important to learn from people that look like you because you just gain a, an instantaneous connection to the person that's teaching you and you, it's a realization that they can do it. I can do it too. Motivation for Dante to continue working toward adding himself to the number of black men in white coats. I believe it's very important to learn from people that look like you because you just gain a, an instantaneous connection to the person that's teaching you and you, it's a realization that they can do it. I can do it.